Looks like a freaking steampunk spider. Ready, Sean? Okay, Daniel, can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Check it out! <laughs> oh, I see where you're going with this. Clever. Uh, where is he going? Sean is about to show you, Daniel. Keep watching. Hey, can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? Totally. <laughs> okay. How about turning that pancake head? You got it. Spin that pancake. Spin! Sweet! Now, turn that small one. Watch this. Just like half a turn. See, Sean. How about working your magic on the ball again? <laughs> Can you turn that thing? Totally. <laughs> now, let's throw on that spider. There he goes. Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Yo, can you turn that, that, um, uh, spider thingy around? Sweet! Give, uh, this one a big spin. You got it. Let's... Turn it a little. Watch this. Rotation required, Captain. See, Sean. Twist, please? Check it out! <laughs> hmm... Maybe give that spider another twist? Check it out! <laughs> Turn the... spider, please. You got it. Uh, 
Spin it! There he goes! <laughs> Twist, please? Totally! <laughs> Can you turn that thing? Sweet! Uh, spin it! Watch this! Rotation required. Captain. See, Sean. Let's turn it a little. Watch this. Can you turn that thing? Totally! <laughs> I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Oh yeah! It's super cool! Thanks for listening to me, Sean. It's exactly what I wanted. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanna's so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me that. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks. But they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. <sighs> I guess I'm always gonna be a visitor. <laughs> super Wolf to the Silver Runner. Copy, I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? 10-4. Okay, you're on it, Nano. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. Don't make the fun to read. Getting closer. You're warm.
Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. It's close, Sean. <sighs> Found it. Nice. And it's a... Tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. Now just match up to the other paper. And the treasure is yours, Captain Diaz. Ahoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain. Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool-ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Getting closer. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Warm. Ooh, looks like something's buried here. Yes! I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah! I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! Come on! You asked for it. Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Mm, yes, one hundred percent her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Okay, just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Hmm, pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Okay, just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Now I can see why Karen likes it out here. It 
just took a while. She really doesn't want to be a part of society. Except just this tiny one. She did screw us over, though. But Daniel's so happy to have her back. Get to know her. I still don't know how I feel. Looks like Karen is back from town. Hey, what's up? Maybe hey. she needs my help. Good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hide rating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? <sighs> it was amazing. So many stars. And so quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> nah. Been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals. Or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> You boys have been here over a month, and I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. <laughs> Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. That kind of power is dangerous, Sean. He's a walking weapon. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but... He listens to me. Maybe I even fucked him up more. Listen. Raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. Oh. You didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> Before her mom died, we never got along. She was angry. I was stupid. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway, you can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. 
Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, time out. Oh my God. I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. Admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? <laughs> Everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But people here are not gonna get in your space. They have their own past too. <sighs> That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. <laughs> well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf? We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? <laughs> Hola. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then.
should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big and pretty. And so quiet, except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! 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 Uh oh! I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. Oh, whatever. The Wolf Brothers aren't afraid of any hunter. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Um, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. It was good to get to know you better. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like Fairy Road, but nicer. I got to learn about living in a desert, hiking canyons, counting stars. <laughs> You're a natural-born explorer. It's hard to believe you two are actually out here with me. I was lucky we had this chance. Just know I love both of you so much. I know you had it rough lately, but it'll be better when you're settled. Karen. Be honest. Do you think we'll make it to Mexico? <laughs> you made it this far. Going through hell. I hope so, Sean. You both deserve it. But... I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. 
and they'll find us. Well, figures. This couldn't last forever. So, this is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Cool. Let's light up the sky. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. Why can't everybody leave us alone? Oh, honey. What are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. <laughs> I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to, to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start from the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too, for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. That's bullshit, Mom. Don't give up. Don't. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing 
when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. You have to stay true to yourselves. But it's hard when somebody or something gets in the way. It can get ugly. You have to find some sort of balance. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. We already did. I know. You did what you had to, to protect your brother all the way from Seattle to Arizona. And I'm sorry, you had to make hard decisions to stay safe. But sometimes, you just have no other choice. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me see bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Figures they'd be looking for us. After all we did. Oh, shit. 